Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Pokemon Crystal. In the last episode, we made it to Fushia City and did all the things that we could do there, which only included doing the gym because there is nothing else there. In this episode, we're heading to the east from Fushia City and uh, exploring what we can all do out here. So, without any further ado, hello. Hang on. I have a phone. I have to phone my mom. Well, if you have to phone your mom, then why are you fighting me? Doesn't that defeat the purpose of... You know? Anyway, schoolboy Kip throwing out a Volt Orb. No, oh, hello. Uh, actually, this is bad. Well, no, I can use... I'll just use Low Kick. It's weird how Low Kick works, because I am used to it, like, doing things based on weight, but it's not like that in Gen 2. It's actually just like a 40 uh, damage move. I think. Uh, this is actually good because... Never mind. This is not good. This is not good. If you could just land it. There we go. <laughs> I was gonna say, it's super effective because fighting is strong against steel, but that was a little scary. Alright, we can use Voltorb again, we'll just steamroll right through. We gotta get Liar up in levels, because he's going to be essential coming up later. Oh no, you're gonna use a Rock-type move on a Rock-type. Don't think that's gonna work very well. Especially not one with so insanely high defense as Liar. And Magneton. Speaking of Magneton... Um, it will learn Zap Cannon at 53, so we've still got a, quite a few levels to go before our good friend Mike will be able to actually get that move. Yes, I could give him the TM that we have, but I don't want to do that. And Kip was defeated. Sorry, Mom, I was beaten. <laughs> was he calling us at the same time as fighting us? That'd be pretty funny. Hello. A lot of trainers this way. Let's battle. I won't lose. <laughs> I mean... I guess I will be the determiner of that. It's all these kids hanging out down here. Ooh, a Zatu. Uh, that's... Flying Psychic, I believe. Um, I'm just gonna use Rock Slide. I'm pretty sure you're flying, right? As far as I remember. Yes, you are. I could have just used... Oh, wait, no, Earthquake wouldn't have done anything, so it's a good thing that I have that. Very smart. That is why I have it. Ooh, Alakazam! He's probably going to outspeed Liar, but I don't care because one Earthquake is going to send this guy to, uh... Oh, never mind! I guess I'm faster than you. That works. He is no longer going to be alive. <laughs> there we go. Good stuff. We're just steamrolling through these guys. Yes, we are like 20 levels above them, but, you know. Hi. On sunny days, I think that the kids would rather be playing in the schoolyard than studying in class. Well, that's just true for everybody, but I mean, you're still going to school to go to school, you know. Oh! Why are you also skipping school, Miss Teacher Lady? Also, that's Apom. I don't think I've ever fought in an Apom before. What type even are you? Are you normal type? Well, I'm gonna kick you and find out. Yep, you... Yes, you are. And it's a crit, so you were extra dunzo. There we go, get some experience from Mike. And Cubone, you are a ground type. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna swap out for Africa. I think so. Either that or you're a rock type. I think you're ground type. I couldn't tell you. Oh, Africa literally is like on the end of a level up, so it's a good thing that I did this. Getting level 57, man. That'll be good. It was either one of the two, because water's strong against both. Hey, Africa gets a level 57. Look at them good old stats. 150 defense and attack. 
that's kind of hey my god level 49 and the teacher was defeated I didn't want to lose well uh, what does this sign say route 15 Fustia city to lavender town oh so it loops back around that'll take us to the uh, Snorlax that we couldn't get earlier my favorite class is Jim I think a lot of people would definitely say that. Hey, Liar gets to level 52. Mike does not. And Billy was defeated. Oh no, how could I lose? And, oh my goodness, there's so many trainers here. Have you forgotten anything? What? Okay, well that was really weird. We're on a field trip to Lavender Radio Tower for social studies. Now I know why there's so many kids here. Well, uh, paralysis is not a scary status, like, at all. Should you always ignore it? Probably not, but I got <laughs> toasty paralyzed at the beginning of that fight, and it didn't really have anything to do with the fight. Uh, I can cut this. You see, this is why I gave Cowbell cut. For this reason, that I don't have to worry about getting cut back. Uh, ooh, an item. Ooh, a peep up. Uh, I've got no idea who wants that. I guess I could give more earthquakes to Liar, but I don't think that he needs them. This could definitely go on somebody else. Um. Toasty. Extreme Speed only has like 7 PP. That's not a lot. I think I'm gonna give... It has 5 PP, yeah. Now it should have 7 if I'm correct, right? Because it would boost by 2, right? Uh, Toasty. No, it boosts it by 1. Well, that's better than not having it boosted by 1. Because it is a very, very good attack. Not only is it incredibly strong, but it has that really nice priority. Like I said, I don't know if it actually is plus two in Gen 2, but I think it is in other ones. My dream is to fly with my beloved bird Pokemon. Well, I know a place where you can learn fly. Alright. Um... Oh yeah, I remember this. It's kind of split down the middle and you got to walk around it. Hello. Let me tell you, I had a hard time catching my prize Pokemon. Well, let's see it then. You said prize Pokemon. Well, what is it? Oh, you've got three of them. Oh, is a Bulbasaur. Are you going to be another one of those that just has the three evolutionaries? Uh, I'm going to go throw Toasty in here. It's surprising that Toasty actually usually is behind... Even though I've desperately needed a fire type, I never really have great times to use her. Besides, like, moments like this, where I specifically only really need her. Like, I don't know, it's kind of weird. Not much experience from that at all. No, you're different. So you have all of the original starters. Alright, Cowbell, let him have it with a Razor Leaf. I've used Cowbell very sparingly. I haven't had many good chances to use him, but he's still very good. He's great for taking out them pesky water types, that's for sure. And Charmander, speaking of water types, let's get... Mr. Africa out here. Oh, look at that good boy. Alright. Let him have it. Surf's up. There. All good to go. Nice. Sadly, they don't really give you a lot of experience, which kind of sucks. But whatever. Pokemon. Pokemon. Poke Fan Carter <laughs> has been defeated. Oh, what do you want, Huey? 
You free right now? It's me, Huey. How's it going? Yeah, I challenge you to a battle. Won't be like last time. Lighthouse is where I'm waiting for you. Hustle over pronto. Or... I could not, because I'm not even in Johto. Nor I want to fight you at all, but, you know. Hi, did you know? Pokemon get more friendly if you train them in a place that they remember. I don't even know what that means. Well, we solved that. Uh, I think this is just a way to cut back. Do I fight you? Chansey's cute. But I don't have it. Do you have a Chansey? Let me... Oh, I don't have a Chansey. I could get an Aerodactyl, which probably is the only one that you can get because it's a fossil Pokemon, so I guess if you'd want that, it's definitely the place to get it. This is the... no, oh, no. This is the maze. North to Lavender Town. West of Fushia City. Is there a secret... I think one of these outcoats has a secret item, but I don't remember which. I should go to Rock Tunnel to get myself an Onyx. Why? Onyx is absolute garbage. Why would you even want that? Trust me, even though you're a hiker, Mr. Kenny, you don't want that. Oh, man. Sand Slash. Um, you know what? Um... Uh, you know... No. Let's bring out Cowbell. I was gonna bring out Africa because it's like, you know, the normal pick. <clears throat> but I think Cowbell deserves some extra time in the sun here. A, because, you know, he's a grass type, and B, because he's lower level than Africa, so. We gotta catch up somehow. Alright. Uh, what else do you got? A golem. I, there is no possible way that this Oko's. There might be, but Golem is very tanky. Never mind. Forgot that's physical defense and not special defense. So really hype that Golem up for pretty much nothing. Dude, it's Graveler! Graveler is cool, you should use him. Oh, you know, 95 accuracy happens a lot more than you'd think. It's kind of funny that that 5 chance of missing happens a lot more than 5 should happen. But, I mean, it's, it's what you get when you pick a move like that. I don't care, but, you know. <laughs> okay, I do care, but... Usually, it never happens in any serious moments, so we're fine. And I mean, if I really need to kill something that's out of my league, I'll just use Solar Beam. Kenny was defeated. I lost. Alright, moving on. I know there's a lot of fights coming up, I think, in this area somewhere. Can I go north here and just leave? Yes, I can. Can I skip the whole maze? No, this just doubles back for no reason. Bow down before my regal Pokemon! What... what is a regal Pokemon? Please, let me... let me know, Alex. No, oh. Yeah, that one went right over my head. Nido King, huh? Um... Ah, uh, yeah, we'll bring out Cowbell again. Might as well. You're gonna kick a plant. You monster. Yeah, yeah, that... Never would have thought of that one. You know, Nido King, Nido Queen. I don't know what the third one is. That one is a mystery to me. Oh, Slowking! Actually, I can keep Cowbell in. Now I think about it, this is the very first Slowking we've seen. Not like many people would use a Slowking anyways, because how hard it is to actually get. And in all honesty, Slowbro 
I would prefer like tenfold over Slowking. Hey, Mike gets to level 50 and joins the club. He still doesn't get Zap Cannon though. Oh, Sea King. So Nido Queen was not in here. It's just the kings. Literally. Well, it's a good thing they're all weak to grass. Cowbell's having a time. How do you feel like that? I overthrew your Pokemon monarchy with a plant. Take that, nerd. How, how dare you mock royalty? I didn't mock it. I overthrew it. The power of friendship. Hello. <laughs> Would you like to battle my Pikachu gang? No. No! No! <laughs> Anything but that. Actually, now I think about it, I can just use Earthquake. Never mind! We're fun. I forgot that Earthquake is going to be invaluable against electric types. Oh god, it's all Pikachu! <laughs> oh no! Well, it's a good thing that Pikachu has god-awful stats, so I could probably honestly use any of these moves and probably Oko it. Not only because I'm, you know, like 30 levels above it, but yeah, Pikachu... Yes, it's the staple of the series, but good grief, if you look at the stats, it is pathetic. Yes, it learns good electric moves, but still, it's not going to be able to use any of them if it gets one-shot by practically any physical attack. It's a real sad story. Even if it's super over-leveled, it's still going to get outclassed by anything. Which is real sad. This guy really only has Pikachus. Not even a single Raichu. Not even a single good Pokemon. I mean, Raichu's not, like, amazing, but... It's better than Pikachu. But everybody knows that. Well, Liar's just having a time throwing rocks at these mouses, but... Yeah, no. Good grief, I'm <laughs> This is just a PP drain fight. <laughs> it's gonna lose all my moves. Just because I gotta keep throwing rocks at him. Good thing I don't need to waste Earthquake on this fight at all. There would be no point. <laughs> I could probably get away with just using, like, Low Kick and killing him. Just because of how much damage it does. Yep. Nice. Easy peas. Joshua was defeated. P Pikachu. <laughs> okay, is there is there a hidden item over here? I have to know. No. What about here? Or here? Uh, trainer tips. Look, right there on the left side of the post. Ah, uh, yes, the calcium. I found milk. Uh, that raises that raises special defense. Um, I might actually give that. Well, that's special stats. I don't know if that's both of them. I'm going to give that to um, Toasty. It's just special. I don't know if that raises both special attack and special defense. Route 13, north to Silence Bridge. If it was special defense, I might have given that to Liar. Just because that his special defense is kind of garbage. And I don't want him to get, you know, one shot by stuff. Agility is the key attribute of bird Pokemon. That is true. Believe it or not, they are the fastest, I think. What do you got? A far-fetched. Let's go. The duck man. Too bad he's garbage. 
Like, I love Farfetch'd to death, but it's so bad. Like, there's just no reason to use it. I tried in Gen 1 to use it, and had a bit of fun with it, but... In all seriousness, no, I was not going to use it for the whole time. You beat me with your speed. No, I beat you with rocks, which are not very fast. Check out my Pokemon. Just look at their coloring and their plumage. Are you gonna fight me with a peacock? I wanna see that. I like peacocks, they're kinda cool. Ah, uh, Pidgeotto! I'm still upset that Pidgeotto is not the third evolution because it sounds way cooler than Pidgeot. But that's just me. No, don't quick attack me and deal two damage. That's not fair. Eat rocks. That's, yeah. That's a crit. The extra dead. Uh, is the next one going to be a Pidgeot? No, it's going to be a Fero. Fero is very good. If you want a flying type... Definitely go for Firo. Firo is fantastic. Ow! I just don't like going with traditional bird Pokemon. I like to kind of branch out, like how I use Crobat. And how I think I used, yeah, I used Zapdos for my flyer in Gen 1 because Charizard can't learn it if it's not yellow and I didn't play yellow. Shoot! Not good enough! Uh, let me backtrack and see... Uh, oh, God. Was there anything up here? I doubt it, but... If there was... Then I ain't gonna miss it. Yeah, I'll cut it. Any secrets? Nope, but there's an instant battle, because... Why wouldn't there be? Hi! Nindorino. We go way back. I'm going to throw a rock at you with my other... Well, no. I'm going to throw a rock at you with my non-rock type move. Makes sense, right? Alright. Uh, there is nothing. That was pointless. Uh, I could surf if I wanted. I don't think there's anything... No. No, th those barriers definitely tell me that there is nothing. So, welcome to the Silence Bridge? There's trees over there. Why are there trees over there? Did I... What is over here? Let me see. Ooh, item! Ooh. Ooh, a nugget! Cool. I'm not really strapped for cash, but now I've got two of them in my inventory. Very nice. And another item kind of hit away. Well, it's a good thing that I got cut back. Or else I would have been very sad. Another calcium to raise a special stat of a Pokemon. Well, ain't that dandy. I'm gonna go throw this on... Hmm... Mike's got good special. Same thing with Cowbell. Toasty's just behind in level. I'm gonna give it to Cowbell. Special's the only thing that he does anyways, so... Don't hurt to make it do a little extra damage. What's most important in our everyday lives? That man really just threw like three Gyarados at me. That was not very nice. This is the Fishing Guru, right? Hi. I'm the fishing guru's younger brother. I can see that you like fishing. Yep, I love to fish. There's no doubt in my mind at all. So, I know I'm right. Yes, yes, just as I thought. Here, fishing fan, take this. It's a super rod! The best rod money can't buy. Try your hand at fishing wherever the wa there is water. Remember, you can catch different Pokemon using different rods. <laughs> Try fishing in water. Trust me. Route 12, north to Lavender Town. Where does this go? Oh. Haven't I been here before? I feel like I have, but I don't really remember. Hi. I feel so content fishing while listening to some tunes on my radio. Dude, this guy's a vibe right here. 
Hey, Mike gets to level 51. And Steven, or Stefan, was defeated. Technically, it would be Steven because of the E at the end, but... You never know. You know what? I'm just gonna... Nah, I don't care. Hello. Patience is the key to both fishing and Pokemon. Wise words. I was gonna say, um, I was wondering if I wanted to put, um... Uh, Mike in front, since I'm going to be using him pretty much every single, um... Uh, fight here. But, nah. You remember? Don't ask me weird questions! What's this guy's problem? The tug you feel on the rod when you hook a Pokemon. That's the best feeling ever for an angler like me. Okay. Cool. Oh, hey, look, it's Lavender Town. <laughs> we were almost there. Well, I think this is a good place. Let's heal up. No, they do not all have green hair. I did... Okay, so I wasn't going crazy. That's fantastic. Anyways, I think this is a good place to stop. Um, I think after we heal up here... And I think this is a good spot. So, um, we did quite a bit. We kind of trekked all the way back, kind of looped around from Fushia all the way back to Lavender Town. But there's still somewhere that we haven't been. I think that's the uh, Diglett Cave that the Snorlax is blocking down south. So I'll head over there, and in the next episode we'll be exploring that, and maybe even heading towards the islands or something like that, wherever that takes us. So uh, until next time. See you guys later, have a good one, and bye bye